Hello everyone. I'm here with my friend and a young attractive teacher. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, before we start the interview, I would like to let you all know that uh, he is not a yoga teacher. It's not like the other interviews. He's a personal trainer. But the reason why I still wanted to interview with him was because he has been very inspiring to me and I'm sure he's going to inspire you all. Yes, that's true. So first, uh, I would like to thank you for your time and for accepting to share your experience with us. Please introduce yourself and tell us whatever you want. <laughs> okay, you're putting pressure on me now, but uh, okay, I'm Thames here and 20 years old, been working out for like four years now mm -hmm. and uh, working out is definitely my, my passion and I like to I feel like I can go to the gym every single day without any problem and how did it impact you physically and mentally both ways well apparently you can see physically but yes. <laughs> well like okay. mentally I feel like you build up you build up the the discipline when, when you got to go to the gym you got to work for what you want you cannot like be lazy and like, expect like results you know what I'm saying so like yeah you got to work hard for what you want and um, I would like to also uh, hear about your special experience that happened in the past um, the accident was when I was around like 14 years old I had a I had a car accident and it was really trauma traumatized and I feel like after the surgery and after the the accident I gotta come back stronger and become a better person yeah and how did you feel before working out and how do you feel right now after working out? Oh, it felt so much better. Like, as I said, it changed my life so much, you know, from a like super damn skinny kid to like, uh, I, I saw your picture. Yeah, to like, I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of myself. You know, it's like self-developed and I feel like I keep growing every day by day to achieve my dream body, yeah. Yes, that's true. I would be proud too, because you're much stronger than what I saw in, in your pictures. And also, what is your advice for the people who are watching the video now? My, my greatest advice would be like to start wherever you are, because like starting sometimes could be hard, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes it's really hard to start something, but maybe you are waiting for like someone to train you or like a better knowledge, something like that. But you can just start wherever you are and you'll just learn through the process and you're just you're just gonna get better over time and what I what I want you to do is just to start wherever like we all started somewhere yes that's true yeah I totally agree with that and also uh, before we end this uh, interview I want to also say some things about you that w one of the reasons why I wanted to interview with you was because uh, you have inspired me a lot to be more energetic because no that's that's so true because every time I see him He's always smiling and he's so energetic and he has this huge smile which, which can brighten your day, oh, isn't oh, my it? Goodness. Why do not yellow? <laughs> yes. And uh, because I'm, I'm pretty sure you all also have your own problems, your own challenges, just like everyone else. But I really like that how he's uh, building himself up and how he's mostly focusing on the good side of the things you you're always working out very hard every time I see you and also I really like that uh, you read books even though you're very young because a lot of young people mostly are very playful and <laughs> me too I'm, I'm sometimes playful <laughs> but but uh, yeah it, it was very uh, interesting to see you reading self-knowledge and inspirational books and also I really like that you don't uh, smoke at all or you don't drink and I also really like how confidently you say no when people ask you if you smoke or if you drink because unfortunately a lot of people at uh, at the, especially at the young age like around our age they are embarrassed to say that no they don't smoke or they don't drink because uh, the people around them mock them for mm. not not trying something like that but I, I also would like to know what's your uh, reason for not doing that so um, my biggest reason would be like I apparently don't like smoking or drinking like I don't understand how others like like it, but I personally just just don't like it myself, and it's not a good thing for my health too, right? And uh, 
even though I don't drink, but I have some, some friends who, who smoke and who mm -hmm. drink too, but I don't think that's a problem because they understand me. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're like joking, like, oh, come on, just drink a bit, just smoke a bit. But, yeah. but they, they know me really well and like, they, they don't try to change me, you know what I'm saying? Yes. So if you're like surrounding yourself with like people who are trying to like force you to do like, mm -hmm. even though you don't want and you cannot be yourself, maybe you're in a wrong circle, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, just like just be yourself, be authentic, and that's the most important thing. Oh uh, yeah, because a lot of people, even though they don't want it, but they still um, change themselves just for the others, which is wrong. And that's what I like about you, because you're not gonna do that for other people because you want to be healthy. Thanks a lot, everyone, for watching. Please stay, stay strong. Yes, yes. Thank you so much.